In this telephone conversation, Judge Walter Rios, president of the court of Callao, who has now been arrested, speak with his advisor, apparently about a litigant. I think he has to give you an amount, which we will personally talk about as a guarantee, and if nothing happens, we'll give it back. I'm thinking of 10 greens. Judge Rios is not the only one involved in alleged acts of corruption. Other judges are also involved. The Minister of Justice, Salvador Eresi, who was forced to resign following the release of an audio, and congressman of the APRA Fujimorist Alliance. I have nothing to fear. I am responsible for the facts that I say or do, and I cannot be responsible for the facts of third parties. According to analysts, the politicians and businessmen involved in the corruption scandal are being investigated for crimes such as asset laundering, corruption and violation of human rights. The first thing that should be done is to control the institution that designates and dismisses prosecutors like this, which is the Council of the Judiciary. The second thing is obviously to control the court's presidents. In the wake of the scandal, President Vizcarra implemented a judicial reform commission, while the president of the Supreme Court of Justice announced that he will declare this branch of government in a state of emergency for three months. But many Peruvian citizens say they have lost confidence and demand out with everyone. It's time for them to go. It's been too much. The judicial power is in the hands of thieves. The Congress is the same. It seems it's the same problem in all the entities. It would be best if the president dismisses the Congress and calls for new elections. Civil society movements and the workers' union call for demonstrations on the 19th of July against corruption and the neoliberal system that sustains it.